Well, the talk of the nation today continues to be that draft Supreme Court opinion that indicates a majority of justices are ready to overturn Roe versus Wade. The news bringing both sides of the aisle outside the nation's highest court today to make their opinions heard. Chief Justice John Roberts has since confirmed the authenticity of that leaked document, but he's reminding everyone that no final decision has been reached yet. A recent CBS News poll showing a nation divided on Roe v. Wade and abortion rights. If the court overturned Roe, more than six in ten Americans would want their state to make abortion legal. Only 14 percent wanted their state to make it illegal in all cases. Now here in Pittsburgh, the local Planned Parenthood of Western Pennsylvania is reacting to this situation. Jessica Gway spoke with the president and CEO of the organization who said this would open the floodgates for many states to ban abortion. Jessica. Yeah, the CEO of this Planned Parenthood tells me that they're just devastated about this leaked draft opinion that would strike down Roe versus Wade. They're also outraged and say that they're going to fight this. Today, the doors are still open at Planned Parenthood of Western Pennsylvania in downtown Pittsburgh. President and CEO Sidney Etheridge says the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade would be dangerous. A state governments would then regulate abortions. What is at stake here is just huge. Not only is it a person's right to choose about their body and their pregnancy, um, it's really stripping that from them and putting it in the hands of politicians. And that is just something that is really scary. She says Planned Parenthood's call center has been receiving a lot of calls from patients with questions about what the leak is and what it means for them. There is definitely some confusion. I think some people think that the opinion will take effect immediately, and that is not the case since this is such a is just a draft. Um, so we've had patients kind of calling in asking about, you know, if they have an appointment, their current appointment or a future one. Um, and then of course we do uh, see and we get calls from our partners in other states and, and potential patients. Etheridge tells me while they're still able to provide abortion services and other reproduction services, they're also mobilized and ready to fight back. We will continue to stay open and we will continue to fight. And so uh, just making sure patients really understand that and that they know they can come here and turn to us. Now, Planned Parenthood and some of its partners will be holding a rally at the city county building that will start at 530. And as you just saw during our four o'clock newscast, Jennifer Barrasso is there. She'll bring you live coverage throughout our evening newscast.